Good day grade 11 welcome to this next lesson on intermolecular forces. In this lesson we're going to be looking at a very special force. It is called hydrogen bonding and again even though it is called hydrogen bonding by us as well as Australians it is in fact an intermolecular force and the reason they call it hydrogen bonding is because it's so strong. So let's watch this little video that explains it. Hydrogen bonding Hydrogen bonding simply is just a strong form of a dipole-dipole bond and it occurs when hydrogen bonds to either nitrogen, oxygen or fluorine. And if you have a look at these, you will see that these have got a high electronegativity and hydrogen's got a lower electronegativity. Thus, this will create quite a big differential between the positive and the negative. And this is what causes it to be a strong form of dipole-dipole force. If we have a look at a water molecule, and of course, inside the water molecule, we have strong covalent bonds, and they're the intramolecular bonds within the molecule. The interaction now between the two water molecules will be an intermolecular bond and they will be hydrogen bonds and this occurs because you have oxygen covalently bonded to hydrogen and the hydrogen bonding though is between the molecules it is an intermolecular bond each water molecule can form four hydrogen bonds and it forms a crystalline lattice. This is really important with water's properties and water's structure and we actually spend a whole unit talking about water down the track. So hydrogen bonds are stronger than normal dipole-dipole attractions and this means higher melting temperatures. And if we have a look at two different molecules here, we've got water which melts at 100 degrees Celsius and water of course has hydrogen bonds and we've got hydrogen sulfide which doesn't have hydrogen bonds and you can see here it's got a much lower melting temperature. Right, grade 11, so I hope you found that useful. Um, basically what we're saying is that the hydrogen bonding is this very special form of dipole-dipole bonds. Okay, so I know that we said that dipole bonds are van der Waals forces, but hydrogen bonding is almost sort of a separate. And the official definition of hydrogen bond is that it's an inter, intermolecular force, right? Intermolecular force that occurs between hydrogen and a small, meaning as in small as in not a lot of protons and electrons, small, highly electronegative atom. In other words, it needs to be between an atom that is small in size but is also going to hold on to its electrons very strongly and attract other electrons. And as was pointed out in the video, this is basically your nitrogen, your oxygen and your fluorine. And the typical atoms or molecules that you're going to come across because of this is going to be ammonia, right, NH3, water, we've already spoken about that, and hydrogen fluoride. And then all three of these type of molecules, wherever there's hydrogen bonding, they are going to have higher boiling points and they're going to have higher boiling, uh, melting points, they're going to have higher melting points can't write it for some reason. Higher melting points, okay? And the reason for this is because of the stronger intermolecular force which keeps the molecules in closer together and therefore they are more difficult to separate when we are heating them up. Okay, right, so we will learn a bit more and we'll practice a bit more about hydrogen bonding but the most important thing you need to know is that between hydrogen, small highly electronegative atom, it's the strongest intermolecular force, the strongest, I'm going to write in big here, it's the strongest, it beats everything else when it comes to intermolecular forces, it doesn't beat obviously the intra, so it doesn't beat the covalent ionic and metallic bonding, but when it comes to the intermolecular forces, it is the strongest. Right, that grade 11 is hydrogen bonding. Please make sure you know it, understand it, that you can explain it to your friends and then go do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a great day.